Just to be whoever you are is no disgrace. Don't be scared if you don't fit in. Look who's in the reject bin. It's the Raggy Dolls. Raggy Dolls. Dolls like you and me. Raggy Dolls. Raggy Dolls. Made him perfectly. So if you got a bump on your nose or lumps on your toes, do not despair. Be like the Raggy Dolls and say I just don't care. Cause Raggy Dolls, Raggy Dolls are happy just to be. Raggy Dolls, Raggy Dolls, dolls like you and me. It was a fine Saturday morning and the Raggy Dolls were having breakfast in the factory canteen. All except Hi-Fi and Back to Front. They were in the tool shed, making a skateboard. Someone ought to go and tell them breakfast is ready, said Dotty. I'll go, said Lucy. I'd like to see how they're getting on. Hi-Fi and Back to Front were having problems. It had been easy enough to cut out the board to stand on, but finding the right sort of wheels and the right size was proving to be difficult. They had tried corks with bent nails through them, but they were too soft. They'd tried cotton reels, but they were too hard. They were wondering what to do next when Lucy arrived. Breakfast is ready, she said. How are you getting on? No, 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 not too g -g 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 good, stammered Hi-Fi. We're having problems with the wheels, said Back to Front glumly. Never mind said Lucy. Come and have some breakfast and we'll all think about it. On their way to the canteen they met Rupert the Roo who was full of his usual bounce. Good day, sports. What you doing? Is there anything I can do? I'm just itching to get stuck into something. Well, we're just about to have breakfast, said Lucy. You can join us if you like. Ah, no thanks. I'm stuffed. I just had breakfast with old Edward. Boy, can that bear eat? You don't happen to know where we can find some small wheels, do you? Interrupted Back to Front. Only we're trying to make a skateboard, and we've run into a bit of a problem. Rupert stopped bouncing. Struth! You! With a problem! This must be serious! Back to Front explained all about the wheels. Say no more, sports. Leave it to me. I'll make some inquiries. And with one enormous bounce, he was gone. Old Edward... Mr. Grimes' boyhood teddy bear was just about to have a snooze after his big breakfast. Suddenly, Rupert bounced in. Say, Edward, wake up! You don't happen to know where I can get my hands on some small wheels, do you? Small wheels? muttered Edward. What on earth do you want small wheels for? I'd have thought you were mobile enough as it is. Ah, they're not for me, explained the kangaroo. They're for the raggy dolls. They want to make a skateboard. A skateboard, said the old teddy bear. What's a skateboard? Rupert shrugged. Well, I don't know. Anyway, they're trying to make one, and I promised to find them some small wheels. Rupert began looking in the most unlikely places. Under cushions, potted plants, up the chimney. Oh, what are you doing? said old Edward wearily. I know where some are, but I don't see how you could use them. Where, where? demanded Rupert eagerly. Well, uh, they're on the tea trolley, but... Uh, uh... Seconds later, he was back, clutching the four little casters from the legs of Mr Grimes' tea trolley. These'll do great, no worries. Thanks, sport. The happy kangaroo kissed the old bear on the head and bounced out, leaving the old teddy still protesting. But you can't take them. Oh, Grimes, he uses that tea trolley. Oh, dear. What have I done? The Raggy Dolls had just finished breakfast and done the washing up when Rupert came bounding in. He was grinning from ear to ear. G'day, g'day is what I say, no matter what you do. Be it work or be it play, I'm the roo for you. Good heavens, said Dotty. Poetry at this hour of the morning. What are you so pleased about? Da-da! Rupert produced the four little wheels with a flourish. Whoa, 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 wow, stammered Hi-Fi. They look perfect. Come on, said Back to Front, 
not stopping to think where they came from. Let's all go to the tool shed and put them on right away. In no time at all, Back to Front had fixed the wheels onto the board. He put one on each corner, and not only did they spin quite freely, they could also turn in any direction. Are you sure they should do that? said Sadsack. Yeah, no problem, said Back to Front. It just means you can go round corners easily, that's all. Come on, let's test it. Hi-Fi and Back to Front had already made a long ramp from a plank of wood that ran down to the concrete factory yard. They had also made helmets from little plastic flower pots and knee and elbow pads from old tennis balls. Lucy giggled. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sorry, but you do look very comical. Back to front didn't mind. Better safe than sorry, he said. Do you want to go first, Hi-Fi? No, 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 it's okay. You can go for, for first if you l l like. Back to front proudly walked up the ramp with the skateboard and positioned it at the very top. Don't you think you ought to test it on level ground first? said Dotty, becoming concerned. No problem, said the daring back to front. You've got to build up a bit of speed to test it properly. Everyone held their breath. Back to front carefully climbed onto the skateboard, but no sooner had he stood up than he started zooming down the plank. Whoa! he yelled. Oh, my goodness, exclaimed Lucy. He went so fast that as soon as he reached the concrete of the yard, he started spinning round and round, as fast as a spinning top. Oh, oh, hey, oh. The others rushed over and gathered round him. Back to front looked up, and was still so dizzy, the others seemed to be floating slowly around him. Wow, was all he could say. Are you all right? asked Dotty. What do you think of the wheels then? said Rupert, rather inappropriately. I knew they weren't the right sort, said Sadsa. Back to front, slowly picked himself up, just as old Edward and Mr. Marmalade, the factory cat, arrived on the scene. Is back to front hurt? asked Mr. Marmalade. No, I'm all right, said back to front, thanks to my knee pads and helmet. Good, said the big ginger cat. Then I must insist that you return the wheels to Mr. Grimes's tea trolley immediately. The raggy dolls looked at Rupert. So that's where you got them from, said Dotty. Honestly, Rupert, you should have known better. Well, I tried to tell him, but he was in too much of a hurry, said old Edward. Ho, 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 chuckled Mr. Marmalade. Rather like our dizzy friend back to front. Now, if only you'd come to me, I could have told you where a real skateboard is. <gasps> what? gasped back to front. Really? Where? Do you mean to say that you still wish to pursue this absurd vehicular activity? The raggy dolls nodded. Oh, very well, sighed Mr. Marmalade. He told them where to find the skateboard. It was in the cupboard under the stairs in Mr. Grimes's cottage. It belonged to Oz, one of Mr. Grimes's nephews. Boz had broken his, and the terrible twins had argued so much that he'd had no choice but to confiscate it. And so, for the rest of the day, the raggy dolls whizzed happily about the factory yard on the proper skateboard, pushed along by Rupert's powerful big feet. No worries, is the thing to say. Ask any kangaroo. The raggy dolls can skate all day. Fair dinkum and yahoo! Raggy doll, raggy doll, doll skateboard, doll skateboard, doll Raggy dolls, raggy dolls, dolls like you and me.